Bye bye, Birdie. Blanket, sunscreen, and. Here you go. Thanks. Where are you going this time, Nina? Molly's mom is flying me to the Kenai Fjords to observe puffins. <laughs> Did you say puffins? Uh, yeah. I need to study them for an article I'm writing. Puffins like the bird puffins? Yeah. Puffins that are black and white? With webbed feet? And orange beaks? Yeah. Please take us with you! Hi, everyone. Trini and I are super excited because Nina's going to take us puffin watching. When I moved to Alaska, one of the things Molly and I found out is... We both love birds! We made this table to keep track of all the Alaskan birds we want to see the most. See, this column lists the names of our favorite birds, and this column shows what each bird looks like. I cut out that picture of a belted kingfisher. And this column is really important. Every time we see a bird, we put a check mark in it. And I learned what noise it makes. Here's a white crowned sparrow. We saw it in a spruce tree near Lake Minchumina. Its call sounds like this. <whistles> and here's a northern flicker. We also saw that in a spruce tree, but in the middle of a forest. It sounds like this. <laughs> We've checked off every bird except... Puffin! That's why we asked our parents if we could go with Nina. So we could see a puffin and check it off. And so I could hear if a puffin makes a sound like this. Meow. Meow. Or if it's more like this. Wah, 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 wah. Or this. Oh, woo! Uh, probably not that one. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Nina said we could join her as long as we got permission. So we put together a puffin presentation about why we wanted to go. First, we talked to my parents. We brought in more people because we were really proud of our puffin presentation. When we finished, they all said, You, you can, can go. go! So the next day, Mom flew me, Trini, and Nina to the Kenai Fjords. We had to take a canoe the last little bit. Yeah. Is that where we're going, Nina? Yep. All the way to the top of the cliff. That's where the colony of puffins nest. Their rookery. Wait. Nest? We get to see baby puffins too? <laughs> yep. The babies are called pufflings. Ah! Best, Best trip ever! See you, little puffling, and they're so sweet. They're fuzzy little cuties with a colorful beak. <laughs> Can you celebrate a little quieter? You're gonna tip us over. You sure this is the right island? Yeah, I don't see puffins or pufflings anywhere. That's because we're only halfway up. Halfway? There are so many switchbacks. This is exhausting. If you're tired, Trini, we could rest for a while. I'm not tired. Come on, race you to the top. <laughs> <laughs> they should be right around here. <laughs> So that's what noise they make. We need to keep our voices down so we don't scare the birds. Let me try. Wah. Hold on. <clears throat> wah, wah, wah. I think it's... Wah. It worked, Molly! We're talking to each other! 
over there is a puffling. Oosk! How cute! Aww! How long are you two going to keep doing that? Can we have like three more seconds? Fine. Aww, they're adorable! <laughs> okay, time to work. This is a table I use for keeping track of how many birds we're able to count and whether they're healthy. I need you to count the puffins. This is the row for puffins. Make tally marks like this for each puffin you see in this column. Then, do the same thing for the pufflings in this row here. So that's it? We just count them? Nope. I also need you to observe whether or not they're eating and write your totals in this box. Here's a table for each of you. But why two tables? Can't we just share one? I want both of you to count and record the data. That way you can compare to make sure you got the same information. Then there's a better chance that it's correct. Here are some binoculars, so you can see into the crevices of the rock. <laughs> While you're counting puffins, I'm going to get some photos of the island. Oh, I left my camera on the path. Are you too good to stay here while I go get it? Um, more quality time with puffins and pufflings? No problem. Thanks. I'll be right over there. I won't be out of your sight. Look at that one! He's digging a hole with his feet. Let's call him Footsie. Trainee, they all dig holes with their feet. So let's name them all Footsie. I like the way you think. 5, 10, 15 plus 1 is 16. I counted 16 puffins. And five of them were eating. And I counted 5, 10, 15 plus 1 is 16 puffins. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are eating. It's the same. Let's move on to pufflings. I counted five, six, seven pufflings. And one, two of them were eating. I got the same numbers. <gasps> hey, leave that alone. Get your own lunch. Yeah, shoo, you big bully. Get on up out of here. Go get on, your own get. food. Shoo, shoo. That's right, buddy. Move it along. Whoa. Look at that guy! Footsie number three is getting a little close to the edge. Hey, little puffling, not so close. Ah! Why'd he do that? I don't know. <gasps> there goes another one. Quick, talk puffin to him. Stop him! Uh, uh. Oh. to stop the rest of them. Sorry about that. Uh, what's with the fence? The pufflings have gone wild! I tried to talk to them, but they wouldn't listen. <laughs> whoa, whoa, slow down. Start from the beginning. First, we got a ride from Molly's mom in her plane, and then we took a canoe. Okay, not the beginning. Just the part when I wasn't here. We were counting puffins and pufflings just like you said. And then, all of a sudden, a puffling jumped off the cliff. And another one. And others are trying to do it too. See? Guys, don't worry. It's not a big deal. How could you say that? Don't you care about them? Of course I care. It's just, pufflings are supposed to jump off the cliff. What? But it's so high! Won't the pufflings get hurt? No! It's time for them to leave the nest and fly out to sea. Jumping gives them the boost they need. Oh! I know you meant well, but it's important not to interfere with the puffins. Come on, let's take down this fence. You did a great job with this data. 
It'll make writing my article so much easier. Look! That's the first puffling we saw! Footsie number one! Oh, yeah! Come on, little guy. Don't be afraid. You can do it! July 20th, the historic day that I, Molly Mabray, and I, Trini Mumford, saw our very first puffin. From Kaya, Alaska, this is Molly signing off. And to all you puffins out there watching, Wah! what does that mean? <laughs> no idea. <laughs>